I'm William Adamson, the Chief of Pediatric Surgery here at the North Carolina Children's Hospital. You're watching this video because you've just been given a diagnosis that your child has or will have an emphalocele or a gastroschisis types of abdominal wall defects. This should be a time of joy and excitement for you, but obviously this diagnosis comes with some anxiety. What I'd like to share with you is our team here at UNC and how we can help you get through this difficult time. Abdominal wall defects affect approximately 1 in 2,500 children. Patients who are diagnosed with abdominal wall defects will require surgery in order to fix this problem, but most of these patients have an excellent outcome. I'm Allison Kessner, and this is Chance. He's three months old. I found out um, at the appointment where you find out the gender of your baby that Chance was diagnosed with gastroschisis. It was kind of hard that day that I found out, like, you think when a baby's born with their intestines on the outside, like, you think, how can my baby live? How can my baby live with his intestines on the outside? And you get really upset, and then you do research, and you see pictures, and it's even harder. It's just really, it was a rough day for me, especially being pregnant. <laughs> Once your child is diagnosed with an abdominal wall defect, his or her care will be brought to a multidisciplinary care team so that at each step along the way, we can get the best possible outcome for your baby. All of our surgeons are board certified pediatric surgeons, and the one who is on call and that you meet when your baby is born is the one who's gonna be primarily taking care of your child. But it's not just the surgeons. In addition to the surgeons, it's our team of 12, board certified pediatric anesthesiologists. And before the baby's born, the maternal fetal medicine specialists who are specially trained to care for women whose pregnancy is complex. Beyond just the surgeons and the other doctors, we are supported by a team of nurses in the operating room and outside the operating room, and nurse practitioners who are specially trained to care for the post-operative period of time. Our newborn critical care center is a state-of-the-art facility that is staffed by experienced senior nurses and nurse practitioners that have cared for children with defects like your child for many years. Um, they are skilled not only in taking care of the, the medical and physical problems that your child will have, but also helping you to answer your questions and to be able to anticipate the needs that you are going to have as well. Since you can have a primary nurse that pretty much chooses your baby, like every time that they're on duty, they have your baby, that was a big deal because they know what your baby likes and they know what your baby doesn't like. And it's hard to stay at the hospital the whole time. So to have a nurse that cares about your baby almost as much as you do, it's a blessing.